One of the strengths of the first movie, The Maze Runner, is the quality of the actors we had, the sort of the family that, that the Gladers created in real life, but also in the movie. Now they're going to have to face all these tribulations to see whether they remain as a family. Come on, let's go. We've got to go. We've got to go. I am back in this chair because of that cast. I mean, they are really, really wonderful people. They're the reasons that you kind of connect with the story and care. These kids came together and bonded immediately, bonded over the kind of the journey they were about to go on. They had fun making the movie and became friends and have remained friends. Action. Teresa. Teresa. Thomas. Just the experience in and of itself, you know, we, we just, we felt like we all collectively really cared about the story. I think Wes and the studio and our producers, Wick and, and Joe, and they did a really good job of finding the right actors to play the right roles. You <laughs> broke my heart. We are kind of extensions of our character in a sense. Dexter and I are just really good friends. I would say we're all really good friends. Leave me alone. Hydrate him. Oh, okay, hydrate him. We just give each other a little crap here and there, but it's all with love. How's it looking? Well, we're thrown into what is beyond the maze. So we meet an awful lot of different people, but we all get on very, very well. Thomas thinks that the last place that they should be is is with Wicked, and I agree, as the actor who plays him. Well, look, I know that we can do this. He feels a lot of pressure, especially in this movie. He's just, he's kind of led this group, you know, to what he thinks is right, and all he knows is this life and what he's experienced, and his loss, you know, and how they've hurt the only people he knows and loves, and, you know, I think that's the only thing that, that he really thinks about. Mino is the keeper of the runners in the first movie. I want to say Mino is more of a, a very reserved leader. He understands that Thomas is a clear leader now and Newt's always been second in command in the Glade. This is all about trying to please the fans and also, you know, bring this guy to life. Now that we're in the second film and we have Winston on Thomas's side, and his position in, in, in the film is to just keep this idea of freedom alive and definitely tries to be the hero and I think he succeeds in his way. What I love so much about uh, our movie and our cast is that, like, these are just ordinary kids in absolute extraordinary situations, you know, and they're not superheroes. The one thing I was looking forward to the most was being able to hang out and work with these guys again and to have, you know, new members of the cast coming in. During the Squish Trials, we had some great older characters to cast and some newer, younger characters. We wanted to find that model of really great actors, great faces, people that you'd seen before and that wouldn't take you out of the movie or the story we were trying to tell. Hoes before bros. Boys night out. <laughs> <laughs> these new characters coming in, the new castmates coming in, and they fit right in, you know, they just kind of, you know, just became a part of this little family unit, you know, and it's, uh, it's really kind of heartwarming. <laughs> right off the bat, you meet Jansen, who the, the fans of the book know as the rat man. As far as the kids are concerned, this is a guy who's a kind of savior, some kind of rebel leader that they're not quite sure about. How many did we get? All of them. What registered with me with the film was, I thought there was some very naturalistic performances from the, the younger actors, you know, quite fresh, real performances. They also meet Eris, the lone boy from Maze B. Come on, follow me. In casting Jacob, you know, he's somebody that we had all seen in Mud and liked as sort of a young actor. Eris, what happened? Thomas, can you just calm down and talk to us? No! Eris is helping escape from Wicked, but at the same time not really knowing where to go. So it's a team effort between him and Thomas to try to get him, you know, away from Wicked as fast as they can. It's my friend Eris. I trust him. We got Harriet and uh, and Sonia, both played by Natalie and uh, Catherine McNamara. Harriet is tough, and she's not, you know, afraid of fighting oh. for freedom. Essentially, and she's the leader of a group of girls that escaped a maze B. It was her and her second in command, Sonia. I play this rough and tumble kind of badass chick. I have a lot of friends who are big fans of the books and when I went and saw the first film, I was completely floored. It was incredible, it was so well done and the, the cast was absolutely impeccable. What's so great about this story is that there are so many different, rich, diverse characters. Morning. Morning. Through that, they've kind of been able to put together a cast of rich, diverse, amazing people. And so it just makes for an amazing dynamic both on and off set. James Brown, I can't, I can't. I don't know if that happens that often. Be working on something that you're really proud of and at the same time having this experience with these guys who've become your, your great friends that you'll have forever, you know. 
The coolest part of the movie, I think, to me, is really once they meet Jorge and Brenda. I was with my 11-year-old who, at the movies, and we saw a poster, and she said, oh, we got to see it first weekend. And the day after I saw the film, I got a call saying, you going to be in Los Angeles? Will you meet with this guy, Wes? I was just like, what? How could this happen? I just saw the movie, and his work is really, really good. I, my character in Jorge hasn't uh, given up. He's a guy who has decided to create a world for himself and the folks who follow him by doing some things that could be looked at as reprehensible. It's a combination of, of darkness and light. What is that? Stay back, stay back! You guys look like shit. Rosa Salazar coming in as, as, a, as Brenda. Just another day at the office. She's been living with these pirates and Jorge for most of her life, so she doesn't need anyone to help her. Whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing? Just by being with Jorge and their relationship, you know that she's sort of been cast out and been on her own, and this guy is her father figure and has taken her under his wing, and, but she's still really tough and really independent, but she starts to open up and Thomas helps her with that. Barry Pepper, who plays his character Vince, a real absolute professional and just joy to work with. Well, my daughter, she read the series, and then it was almost sort of kismet because I got a phone call, I don't know, maybe a week later, saying, did I want to play Vince in the, in the Scorch Trial? She's not dangerous yet. It just happened. Well, you shouldn't have brought her here. They've been so impressive, and they're very loving. They've just welcomed me in with open arms. When a movie's tough, it creates this bond amongst like the cast and the crew, and that helps a lot along the way. But it's even kind of cooler, too, when you get with this group of people and you work for three and a half months, you know, and you see it come together. Oh, God! It really is a joy to kind of work with all these guys. They're just so humble and hardworking. They all support each other. Let's go. They consider themselves brothers and sisters now at this point. It's fun to be around that. Whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs>